Hello everyone and welcome to Monkeyfish channel. In today's video, let's try something new. So, some time ago, I have seen that some people posting videos about self-defense against the dog. So, I decided to test it, if it's even possible to run away from the dog. So, this is Keiki. She is 8 months and she is not an aggressive dog. She is really friendly, she loves everyone. And she's still not full grown and she's a medium size of the dog. She is not trained to catch anyone or follow somebody. So let's see if I can run away from this small beast. So I'm going to make a few tests. I'm going to try to run away from her and I'm going to throw something and see how it is if she really wanna get something because she's not trained to run after somebody she normally tried to run to me and run with me instead of trying to get me so i'm going to make a two tests and compare these two videos to each other and i'm going to give for myself a little bit more distance for example three meters so i have a chance so even the distance what i gave my for myself didn't help me I think it's everything depends on what kind of dog we're talking about because this kind of medium-sized dogs, they are pretty fast. And if you talk about the big police dogs, they are trained to get somebody. She's not trained to do any of that. She's a, you know, she's a sofa potato and she's super fast. Don't get me wrong, I do not say that it's not possible to run away from the dog because it is possible, but it's not easy, especially if you talk about the medium or big dogs. If you talk about the small ones, then probably you are much faster than them. And if you are not, then probably you should do something about it. I do not say that I'm a good runner, but I think I'm pretty okay. I did the sprint with normal clothes without warm up, so I tried to make this realistic. Right now I am 33 and my time on 100 meters is around 16 seconds. I don't know if it's good or not, but for an untrained person, I think it's pretty okay. Okay, so now it's time for test number two. I'm going to throw the ball and we'll see how fast she can be when she goes after something. You have to remember that this is not science, this is not a real test. I'm just playing around with my dog. And now we can compare these two tests to each other. As you can see, when she ran after the ball, she's much faster because on the video on the top, she want to join me and run with me, not catch me. So, as I said before, in my opinion, it's not easy to run away from the dog, but if you have some kind of fence or wall where you can jump over, then this can give you some extra chance to success. And you have to remember that some dogs are also really good with jumping over some things. And some dogs are also trained to do this. And I have seen some videos when some dog could run on the wall and make some kind of backflip. So you have to remember that dogs can be dangerous and crazy and especially when they have this mode when they have to follow something because they can see you as a target and they will get some kind of agility boost and they do everything to get it so you have to remember about this running away is one thing but you have to remember that if the dog get you then it will be really painful. For example, my dog is a stuffy. So this race have around 150 kilos uh, power of jaw. So this will be really painful. And if she gets something, then she will hold it. And it's not easy to remove it. So yeah, it will be painful. It's really cool to think that you can run away or do something, but probably if you see the dog who is running to attack you, then it's already too late to do anything. You will not have a time to react, to run away or do anything because he's already start his action and before you react, he's already there. Yeah, as you can see here, we just playing around. It's not aggressive and no, we're just playing. And she's really good with cutting my way out. She's all the time in front of me. And this is just a play. So probably if she wanna attack me, then she would do it. From my experience, when we play and I pin her down like this, then she cannot do anything to me. She cannot bite and I have a control because I can use my body weight to hold her down. But when I try to keep her on her back, 
then she can bite, she can push me with her paws, she can do much more. So if I have to advise something then probably I would just say that you should just try to hold the dog down like this. So he can bite you and you can and you can feel everything, you can even hold his paws or something like this so he cannot move. It's pretty difficult to run away from the dog. <sighs> probably everything is dependent on the dog. This one, as you can see, he's just cute and sweet. He's not aggressive dog. So, yeah, this is not a real test. I was just playing around, but you can just see a little bit the reality of running away from the dog. So, thank you for watching. See you next time. Oh,